In this video, I'm going to do one more example of graphing a parabola. So here we're going to graph negative 3x squared plus x plus 1. Uh, one thing I notice here is a is going to be the value negative 3. Again, that's the coefficient on the x squared. And that to me just tells me that the parabola is going to open downward. So I already know that. Uh, the vertex, remember, we can find the vertex either by completing the square or by using this formula negative b over 2a and then f of negative b over 2a. So that's what I'm going to use in this case. So remember b is the coefficient on the x, so we'll get negative 1 over 2 times negative 3. So that's just going to be positive 1 over 6. So that's going, that's going to be the uh, x-coordinate of our vertex. If we plug that back into our formula to get the y-coordinate, we'll have negative 3 times 1 over 6 squared plus 1 over 6 plus 1. Okay, so 1 over 6 times 1 over 6 is 1 over 36. Negative 3 over 36 is going to be negative 1 twelfth. So let's see, I could make this multiply top and bottom by 2. That would give me 2 over 12. Um, I could multiply top and bottom of 1 by uh, 12 over 12. I can just write 1 that way. So now um, negative 1 plus uh, 12 is going to be positive 1. Excuse me, negative 1 plus 2 is positive 1. 1 plus 12 is 13. So I'm getting 13 over 12 as the y coordinate for our vertex. So already, I mean, I know a little bit here. So let's uh, try to make a, a fairly decent little little parabola, a little shifted. Um, let's see. So here's x, here's y. Uh, let's make this positive 1, and we'll put positive 1 up there. So 1 sixth isn't very big at all. That's a pretty small number. Uh, 13 over 12, that's a little bit bigger than 1. So let's put the vertex right there. And again, it's always good to kind of label things. So I'll say that's 1 over 6, 13 over 12. I know since this thing's opening downwards, it's gonna, I'm going to have x-intercepts. Um, all parabolas have y-intercepts, but this is definitely going to hit the x-axis. Um, to find the y-intercept, remember to find the y-intercept, all we do is we just take our formula and we plug in x equals 0. So if we do that, we'll get f of 0. We'll just get negative 3 times 0, which is 0, plus 0, plus 1. So it says we get the value of positive 1 out. So I know that the graph goes to the point 0, comma 1. And the next thing I'm going to do is simply find the x-intercepts. So remember to find x-intercepts. We have to substitute in the value y equals 0, or equivalently f of x equals 0, and then solve. So I'm going to plug 0 on the left. We've got negative 3x squared plus x plus 1. Um, you can play with this. I don't think this is going to factor at all very nicely. Um, so I'm just going to use the quadratic formula x equals negative b, so that'll give us negative 1, plus or minus the square root of b squared, minus 4 times a, which is negative 3, times c, which is um, positive 1. And then we take 2 times our a value, which is going to be negative 3. And now we've got to clean this up a little bit. So we've got negative 1 on top, plus or minus the square root 1 squared is 1, negative 4, negative 3 is going to be positive 12. 1 plus 12 is going to give us 13. In the denominator, we have negative 6. And now we've got our two x-intercepts, negative 1 plus root 13 um, over negative 6, and negative 1 minus root 13 over negative 6. And I think what I'm going to do, just to give myself a kind of a, a better intuition about these numbers, is I'm going to approximate them a little bit just to kind of figure out where they're sitting um, you know, where they're sitting at on the, the x-axis. Um, I used a little calculator here. The square root of 13 is going to be roughly equal to, I got 3.6. So I'm going to use that and just do a little bit of arithmetic here. So let's see, um, negative 1 plus 3.6 over negative 6 will be one of our x-intercepts, or an approximation to it negative 1 minus 3.6. Um, I left my negative off up here on this one, sorry about that. So they're definitely both divided by negative 6. 
So negative 1 plus 3.6 is 2.6 over negative 6. That'll be one of them. Um, negative 1 minus 3.6 is negative 4.6 over negative 6. So let's see. Um, 2.6 divided by uh, negative 6. This is roughly equal to negative 0.43. Uh, repeating, that's actually exactly what it is. Um, and our second value, so 4.6 divided by 6 is going to be positive. I'm getting the second value to be roughly equal to 0.76 repeating. So those are going to be our, our two x-intercepts. So one's a little smaller than 1, the other's uh, in between negative 1 and 0. So at least now I know a little bit better where these points are on the x-axis. So let's see, one of them was a little bit smaller than 1. So let's see, uh, a little bit smaller than 1. And the other one, let's stick negative 1 on our graph as well. Uh, so the other one would be somewhere roughly inside of there. Um, so now I'm going to label them though exactly. That would be the point, let's see, that was the positive one. So that would be negative 1 plus the square root of 13 over negative 6. And then this other point, just so we know it exactly, that would be negative 1 minus the square root of 13 all over negative 6. And now um, I've got enough to kind of place and connect the dots here, and we'll have a nice little graph. So um, I think kind of got the useful information. We know the vertex now. We know the x-intercepts exactly. Um, we found the y-intercept. And I think between those few things, that's enough to provide a, a, a pretty reasonable graph of your parabola.